The John Deere D5000 flow regulated drip line is designed for reliability and high performance. Take a journey inside the dripper and discover how it works. The D5000 dripper consists of three parts. A cover with a labyrinth and a regulation chamber on one side and a large water outlet chamber on the other side. A membrane designed for flow regulation and self-flushing and a body with three parallel inlet filters for highly effective filtration. Let's take a closer look at the ingenious design of the D5000 dripper. Each D5000 dripper is equipped with three parallel inlet filters, which provide a large and effective filtration surface. The filters are located far from the tube wall, enabling the water to flush them continuously. From the inlet filters, the water flows into a large cross-sectional labyrinth, specifically engineered to resist clogging. It then continues through the regulating chamber, which ensures that the water maintains a constant flow rate over a wide range of pressures. Only then does the water pass through the outlet chamber and drips out to irrigate your plants. Now let's examine a cross-section of the dripper and see how it regulates the water pressure to provide the flow rate you desire. The water entering through the filter pushes the lower part of the membrane towards the regulating chamber using the pressure from the tube. The labyrinth through which the water passes reduces the energy and creates a lower pressure on the top side of the membrane. This clever design is called differential regulation. It ensures that the flow rate is right on target and that the dripper can flush when needed. The D5000 self-flushing mechanism is designed to function even under extreme conditions. Naturally, small dirt particles pass along with the flow, and the D5000 dripper filters prevent most of them from infiltrating the drip line. A small amount of particles may still pass through the filters and accumulate in the regulation chamber. This can affect the flow rate, which in turn influences the forces operating on the membrane. When the forces on the upper side of the membrane build up, they push the membrane down, allowing the particles to be discharged. Once the particles are flushed out, the dripper will revert to its predetermined flow rate. The D5000 drip lines are manufactured with two kinds of outlets, both effective in preventing soil ingestion. Thin wall D5000 drip lines, up to 15 mil wall thickness, have a slit outlet that protects drippers in subsurface applications from ingesting dirt particles. At the end of the irrigation cycle, or when the water is turned off. The slit closes, preventing particles from being drawn into the dripper. Then, pulled by gravity, the water in the tube drains out through the lowest part of the drip line. The drip line is now ready for the next flawless irrigation cycle and many more to come.
The second type of outlet is the hole outlet, used on D5000 drip lines with wall thickness greater than 15 mil. For subsurface applications, the thick walled D5000 products utilize a special slow drain mechanism to prevent dirt particles from being ingested when the water is turned off. Once again, the D5000 drip line design ensures long lasting and trouble free operation. With its efficient and reliable flow regulation and clog prevention design, the John Deere D5000 drip line is an ideal irrigation solution in a wide range of crops and conditions.